Hey, we got a call. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, Ground World News. What's happening? Hey, what's up, Cart Racer? Pastor Kelly, buddy. Hey, what's happening, Pastor? Oh, hey, hey Pastor Kelly. Oh, well, I heard y'all in there jabbering, so I said I'd call in there as soon as you said it was time. I was trying out this Google Hangout thing, too. Heck, yeah. Cool. Good to have you on, Welcome. brother. All right, bud. Yeah, I was looking at some pictures, Mike. Uh, remember when I gave you that uh, earthquake that was above ground? Yes. I got a screenshot of that. That was on, let me look here. I got my screens down too small. It was a day, two days before you had that methane gas picture. Wow. And here's the thing, Mike. I was also researching, uh, Lynn Lee's had it on there. I believe it was Lynn Lee's. That, um, oh, what, they were been doing atomic drills out there on the west coast wow yeah i didn't know and it was that. all around the same time well that, that would definitely do it yeah you need to resend me all that stuff so i can kind of dig a little deeper in there man you've been putting out some pretty good videos there pastor well i'm trying brother i'm trying well, I'm going to send you all this stuff, Mike, because, well, you know it better than I do, brother. And uh, the Lord gave you the gift of researching all this and putting it out there and keeping people uh, advised about it. And that's what you need to do. But I, I really did. I think you put two and two together. I think all that came together at the same time. And I think it all had to do with them worried about them flicking a nuke at us from uh, North Korea. Yeah, it's hard to say. I haven't really dug too deep into that part i got so focused on trying to uh prove that i was right <laughs> you know? well yeah they're, well, they're you were trying... right mike you were right and you know uh, lord will and lord behind you anytime he'll, he'll go behind a righteous man and you're doing righteous work and you will prove yourself with his help amen and that that's that's why they're after you mike and that's what i said there uh, in that one video i answered you with Folks, they're after you, brother. When you start putting the truth out there, they're going to go at you with both hands and both feet. But here's the thing. Those dates they were flinging, Mike, you'd mentioned about that. They were flinging dates that weren't, uh, weren't the same as what the gas maps were showing. Those dates yeah. they were flinging are the same date as that above-ground earthquake at 3.1. Wow. Same That's date. great news. That's so really good news. Me, we did. You we did a maybe show. They were accidentally about. flinging out the right dates, anyway. Yeah. Hey, my uh, my computer froze up. So oh, I don't I, know. I can hear him. Yeah, I know I, we can hear him, but like, I was trying to share the Skype window so that we could have the other uh, little icon popped up, but it uh, my whole thing froze. So hopefully everybody can, can still hear me. Can Pastor yeah, Kelly? Yeah, hear I can hear you. I got a big delay in my ears. I, I'm listening to you through my headset. So I can hear me talking too. Yeah, so as long but as me, I, going I, I can hear us one on one, so we're good to go. But yeah, that's uh, feel okay to keep talking there. Uh, that's what I called you about, Mike. It really is, buddy. Uh, I'm going to email you that stuff or send it to you in a personal message, one or the other. And you can throw it together, the dates and things, do another video. I started to do a vid on it, but, buddy, that's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is the Lord's work. And if it don't have to do with something biblically, I usually don't put it out. So that's your cup of tea. But, you know, if I fall across it or find it somewhere, you know, woe be me not to give it to the man that does the job. Yeah, and I, I've got a lot of researchers I can get some help with, so that, that does help okay. me. Okay. Well, I'll send you the, send you those pictures. But if you got more calls coming there, Mike, I'll let I'll jump up out of here. But I, I tried to I wanted to be the first one in there. <laughs> yeah, nobody's calling yet. You can stay on till somebody else calls. So now, I thought I heard your phone ringing again. No, <laughs> well, it ain't it's bother me good. a bit. It unfroze on us. I got the little Skype window in the in the visual, so everybody can see that too. Yeah. So it all seems to be working. Yeah. Well, that works too. That verse you were uh, looking for, one of them was you were looking for earlier, was a proverb, brother. Uh, I mean, he's talking about being prepared. 
as go to the ant and thou sluggish, consider her ways to be wise. In other words, always, whether you're moving slow, as long as you're moving steady, you're working wisely. You're being prepared. That's Proverbs 6, 6, if you want to look it up. But uh, the other proverb you were looking at was, uh, prudent man seeth the evil and hideth himself, but uh, the simple man pass on and are punished. That's Proverbs 22. That that goes right along with where you all were talking about being prepared. Lord wants you to be prepared. The word prepared appears in the Bible. I'm if, Don't quote me on this, but I think it's something like 35 or 40 times. Well, I was wrong. I looked it up in the concordance, and it's over 200 times. Wow. So it's not like he doesn't want you to be prepared. You guys are exactly right. You're right on the money with that. Yeah, I just couldn't remember I think where, what part of the Bible was. <laughs> I know I read it. Well, yeah, I, that's all right, Mike. I, I have the same problem sometimes. Uh, I, I have, uh, I don't know, a lot of people don't know this about me. I have a very bad health history, and I have uh, TIAs. And right now my mind's working kind of straight, so I'm, that's why I went ahead and called you. Sometimes when I hear y'all on, my mind's not working straight, so I can't because I may have just gotten through one of them little mini strokes. But you guys were talking oh. about those uh, chemtrails and them planes are flying over. I live right under a C-130 uh, fly, flight path. They're 30 miles out of Jaeger Airport down there. They buzz my house. I live at 1,500 feet above sea level. They buzz my house so hard it rattles the windows and moves the trees. And you can wow. watch those streams just come out of them as they go and make that big turn down the valley. It's, uh, wow. it, it's a mess now. And as far as y'all were talking about the ear, ears are ringing and the headaches and things, when those suckers get to practicing, ain't that right, Amy? They get to practicing, it's weeks before our headaches or our lungs clear up. Man. So you tell me. I mean, yeah, you're up yep, the that's, that's the proof right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm up on top of a mountain, brother, 1,500 feet above sea level. Man, like I say, I'm right in the flight path of them. I got a big old pin oak tree out there in my yard, a big old king dope tied underneath it. And when them things fly over, you literally, literally, one of these able to set up the camera, you literally can see the trees move. They're that close. Yeah, you need to. You need to get we that wave up the pilots. Oh, man. They're that close. I'll have, to bring, I'll have to bring my telescope up there, and we'll 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 get their facial picture. Well, you can do it, brother. I know I can. You, can you know, do it. it's, it's funny that Pastor that, Kevin brings up the place up on top of my property account. up there. You can, you can set up, and I do want to apologize. I uh, wasn't hearing anybody but Mike. So, all you folks I talked over, please accept my apology. You can almost see Charleston, and you can see John Amos Power Plant. Uh, which is roughly 45 miles as a crow flies from here. That's how high up we are. We're one of the higher foothills of the Appalachians here. After you went, after you go past my mountain, you don't do anything to get higher. <laughs> That's cool. So, but anyway, but anyway, Mike, I, like I say, I wanted to give you guys a call. I don't hear cannons and them in there. I know you are in there, but uh, yep, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, they wanted to give y'all a call and <laughs> talk to you and. Uh, let you know that I do listen to you. Sometimes I don't jump in chat, though. Uh, if I see that chat getting a little bit uh, heated as far as cursing and things, I just I steer away from it. You know what I mean? But I still listen to you. <laughs> well, we love you, brother. So glad you called. Yeah, we in. love you. Yeah, yeah, thank no you. problem. Well, we love thank you, you guys. For it. We love you very much in Christ. But just remember this. Jesus loves you more. He died for you. Yep. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. He did. All right, brothers. We'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot for the support, Pastor Keller. Thanks a lot for calling in. That was a great call. All right. Good call, Pastor. Wow. wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Like a, yeah. I, I